Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, we'll make a simple 2D practice drawing with AutoCAD. Make sure that you are in drafting and annotation workspace before starting this drawing. So you can switch to drafting and annotation from this drop down menu. You can also change to drafting and annotation by clicking this gear icon on status toggle and changing it to drafting and annotation. So once you are in drafting and annotation, start with the draw command and from draw select the circle. So click on this circle from draw panel and click anywhere in the screen to start this command and type a radius of 60 units. So type 60 and press enter. So this will be the first circle. Now press enter to repeat the circle command and click at the same center point and this time enter a circle with radius 50 units. So type 50 and press enter. Now again go to the circle command by pressing enter, go to the same center and this time enter a circle with a diameter value of 156 units. So type 156 and press enter. So here we have these three concentric circles. Now once you have made these concentric circles, go to this line command and click at the center of this line. Go to this line command and click at the center of the circle. Now move your cursor towards left and make sure that the tracking vector appears which is not appearing for my case. So for that you need to make sure that this polar tracking is turned on. You can turn it on by clicking on this polar tracking icon or by pressing F10 key. So now our tracking vector is visible. So now track it towards left and click at a point which is close to the intersection point of this internal circle. Now press enter to exit it. You can repeat the process for other side of this line as well. So press enter to repeat the line command, click at the same point and then make a line towards right side. So now here we have these two lines. Now select both the lines, type J on command line and press enter. So this will join both these lines into a single unit. Now select offset command from this modify panel. So click on this offset and enter a offset distance of five units. So type five and press enter. Click at this line and now click upwards. Now click at this line again and this time click downwards. Now repeat the process for the topmost line and click it again upwards and repeat the process for the bottommost line and click it downwards again. So here we have these four lines along with the central line. So let's click on the central line and now delete it. We don't need it now. Now go to this line command again and go to the center point of the circle Track your cursor towards left, enter a distance of 30 units, press enter and this time move your cursor upwards and click anywhere which passes both these lines. Now this is the helping line which was required to make this. Now delete this one and go to line command again, click at this endpoint and drag it all the way towards downward direction as well. Now select both these lines using the selection window and type J on command line, press enter and this will join both these lines into a single unit. Now we need to make a mirror image of this along the center point of this circle. So let's go to this mirror command from modify panel. Now click at this line, press enter. Now click at the center of the circle. So right now the center of the circle is not visible. So click at the side and the center will be visible. Now here we have the center. Now once you select the center, click at any point towards upward or downward direction. So now I'm clicking here, press enter and a parallel line will be created like this. Now we need to clean this drawing and after cleaning we'll get the required geometry. So in order to clean it, select trim command. So on modify panel you'll see here trim, select trim and press enter. Now at first click on all these extra edges, we don't need these edges. Then click at this line and then at this line. Repeat the process for this line and this line. Now click inside and remove these as well. So here we have a completely clean geometry. But when you zoom in this area, you'll see that we still have some geometries left here. So these extra geometries need to be trimmed. So first select these two and delete them. Now go to trim command again, press enter and trim these small geometries. Now we need to trim it from here as well. So click and zoom in, then click at this one and then click at this one to remove it. We cannot trim these lines, so select them and delete them. So select both of them and press delete. So now we have a completely clean geometry. 
we have one more detail to add here before we finish the central portion of this geometry for that go to trim command again press enter and trim these two arcs as well so now here we have the completely clean geometry from the center of this circle now let's go to line command again and let's go to the center of this circle but this time don't click and track your cursor towards left and keep on tracking till it passes completely this circle so now here we have this make a line which is completely horizontal and which passes through the center you need not be concerned about the length of this line just make sure that this line passes from both the sides of this circle so select this line and make an offset so for that select this offset command and enter an offset distance of 90 units so type 90 and press enter click on this line and click upward so this will make an offset at the distance of 90 now your offset command is still in continuation so exit this by pressing escape key go to offset again and this time enter a distance of 35 units so type 35 and press enter click on this line and click downwards so this will again make an offset we again need to make an offset but this time it is at the distance of 18 units so now press escape press enter enter 18 press enter again click on this line and click downwards so here we have all the three offsets which were required now select this helping line delete it and then start line command again this time again click at the center of the circle and drag your line all the way to upward direction so that it passes all the offset lines now we again need to make some offsets of this line for that click on this offset command and enter an offset distance of 50 units so type 50 and press enter click at this line and click on the right side click on this line again and click on left also so here we have this offset press escape and press enter to repeat the offset command now this time we need to enter an offset distance of 43 units so type 43 press enter select the central line click on left select the central line and click on right now press escape to exit this so we have almost made our geometry and now we only need to add some details for that we need to trim all the extra portion of these lines so select trim command again press enter and trim all these extra line by making this crossing window trim all these lines as well and these lines as well using a crossing window now zoom this area and click on this line and on this line we don't need it either and now this time carefully move at this area and click on this line and then on this line similarly repeat the process for this side for these two lines as well now carefully again zoom this area and click at this line and repeat it for this side as well for the same line now press escape and now we need to delete some lines so select these two lines and similarly select these two lines and delete them we don't need it also delete this central line that is also not required and we are left with this geometry now in this geometry again we need to make some trims so go to trim command press enter and first trim this portion then this and then this portion now we need to trim everything from inside so click here as well now press enter and one final offset needs to be drawn for that we need to offset this line towards right side so go to offset command and enter an offset distance of 10 units and press enter now click at this line and click on the right of this geometry click on this line and click on the left of this geometry now go to trim command press enter and trim these two lines now carefully remove the geometries which I am removing so click on this one then this and this arc now remove this arc and remove this arc also you need to remove this line similarly repeat the process for the right side of this geometry so now click on this line then click on this arc and then on this arc so now our geometry is complete and we need to delete all these lines which cannot be trimmed so select all of these geometries and delete them so here we have the geometry we only need to add a hatch pattern of ANSI 31 in the required area so for that go to this hatch 
select this part of the geometry and once you select this part the pattern will be applied at the required area and make sure that ANSI 3.1 pattern is selected. Once you've selected the pattern, you may see that the hatch gap is not equal to what you see on the screen. So make sure that you change the scale from here and make it appropriate. So if the lines are very closely spaced, then increase it. And if the lines are far too apart, then decrease that scale value. Once you're done with this, press close hatch creation. And now here we have this complete geometry. So I hope this drawing was clear to you. If you have questions, do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thanks again for watching.